Base launch checked and countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good morning, everyone. My name is Shiva Bharadvaj, and I'm a space operations engineer here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for SpaceX's 48th launch of 2022 and our 186th yeah, mission overall. Now, the uh, teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or the spacecraft. The weather and the range are both green for today's launch, and we're proceeding with a T-0 of 10.50 a.m. Eastern Time. As I mentioned, the range is currently green and ready to support liftoff just under four minutes, uh, excuse me, just under five minutes from now. And in preparation for liftoff, we're standing by for the transporter erector to return. Starting. 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 And we just heard that call out there and we'll expect to see the clamp arms retracting around the second stage. There you can see they've begun to open around the second stage in preparation for strong back retract. Today's mission also marks our 100th overall launch from Space Launch Complex 40 in Florida. You can see a shot of it here in the background and it looks like a beautiful day to fly. Now we're just awaiting liquid oxygen loading complete on both the first and the second stage. Stage one lock load complete. Perfect timing, there's that call out. So with that, we have a, a fully loaded our rocket propellant one fuel and our liquid oxygen on the first stage. We'll hear a similar call out for liquid, liquid oxygen loading complete on the second stage. You can see some humidity forming around the first and second stage. That's totally normal as we're topping off the tanks. The uh, cryogenic liquid oxygen we load is very cold and it's causing clouds to form around the vehicle from that moist Florida air. So with that, we've got a million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen on both the first and the second stage. And the booster you've got on your screen is flying for its 10th time today. Ground closeouts has started. With that call out, we're gonna be venting uh, some propellants from the transport director. As I mentioned, this booster is flying for its 10th time, having previously flown the GPS-3 Space Vehicle 4 and 5 missions, Inspiration 4, Axiom 1, NALSAT 301, and four previous Starlink missions. We are planning to recover this booster on our drone ship named A Shortfall of Gravitas, which is currently stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. 
following liftoff and stage separation. LD, go for launch. T-minus 30 seconds. supersonic so at that Falcon 9 is fa traveling faster than the speed of sound XQ and we've just passed through the point of maximum dynamic pressure that we'll feel during the flight So with that call out, we're about a minute away from main engine cutoff, stage separation, and then second engine start, followed shortly after by fairing deploy. Those events will happen back to back. And with the call out of MVAC chill starting up, that means we've begun chilling in those turbo pumps in preparation for second engine start. Operation confirmed. And back ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. So with that, those four events complete, we will be attempting to recover both of these fairing halves again to use on a future mission. If you're just joining us, we had an on-time liftoff from Space Launch Complex 40 at 10.50 a.m. Eastern Time. On your screen, the right-hand side is our se second stage, taking 54 Starlink satellites to orbit. And on the left-hand side of your screen is our first stage. Position of signal, Bermuda. First stage making its way back to our drone ship stationed off the uh, coast of Florida and the Atlantic Ocean.
Now, I mentioned a little bit earlier that today marks SpaceX's 186th mission overall, excuse me, overall launch. And as I previously mentioned, it's the 10th flight for this first stage. It previously flew the GPS space vehicle 4 and 5 missions, Inspiration 4, Axiom 1, NALSAT 301, and 4 Starlink missions. The first stage's next major milestone will be its entry burn, where we will ignite three of the Merlin 1D Started engines. mid-flight guidance. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. And the second stage still has a few minutes to go here with second engine cutoff number one just after eight minutes into the flight. We are flying 54 Starlink satellites into orbit today. Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed and low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Next major milestone coming up in about 20 seconds. That'll be the entry burn on the first stage. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. So with that, first stage has ignited three of its Merlin 1D engines to slow down for atmospheric reentry. This burned pretty quick, just about 20 seconds long. Stage one entry burn shut down. Both stages are following nominal trajectories. Stage 2 FTS is saved. So next major milestone here will be the landing burn start for the first stage. The sequence there will be landing burn start. Stage 1 transonic. So with that call out, the first stage is traveling near the speed of sound as it's transitioning through the Earth's atmosphere. It's landing burn to start in about 20 seconds, followed shortly after by landing leg deploy, and around that same time we'll hear a call out for second engine cutoff on the second stage. Stage one landing burn. So the first stage has lit one engine to prepare for landing on our drone ship, named a shortfall of gravitas on the right hand side of your screen. Landing like deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And back shutdown. Acquisition of signal defendant. So a few things called out there. First, Falcon Admiral 9 has landed. That marks the 40th landing of this year, 141st overall landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. Now, you also heard after that there was a successful second engine cutoff and a nominal orbit insertion. With the completion of today's launch, it marks SpaceX's 40th successful Falcon 9 mission of 2022.
And as you can see now, our second stage is carrying 54 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. Now, if you're interested in following along with the deployment of those satellites, Expected lots of we will uh, continue uh, to have our nets live on YouTube. And you can also follow our social media accounts for confirmation of deploy. Thanks a bunch for joining us today, and we hope you have a great day.